Hi, welcome back to Bump Love. Lately, parents are more cautious about where their children or which homes their children take sleepovers. Of course, for various reasons, uh, sexual harassment, people picking up bad habits in the different homes they go to, and today we speak sleepovers. We know that children reach a certain age and they're pestering their parents to go and sleep over to different homes. And you know, maybe they're tired of their beds, they're tired of home, and they just want to go and you know, just have a sleepover elsewhere. Yeah. Ladies, what has been your sleepover experience? Or have you had any Pumla? I am the I can guess. Holy Grail <laughs> of sleepover. Alpha, <laughs> Omega, mm. and everything in between of sleepovers. But okay. this started from my home. Mm. So sleepovers, mostly people t t speak about it in their children going. Yeah. Yeah. For me, my home's always been open from when my son was young. And I'm, I'm mindful of, of the, um, the, the, the negativity that it comes with, that the caution that we all have to take. But I've, I'm always, I'm secure in myself yeah. as me because I don't really have house help in the house. Yeah. So I don't have any, there are no other external kind of parties, parties yes, people yeah. come in if I have children in the house people don't come and visit around mm, yeah. I don't ever leave the children with uh, in, alone without mm. uh, without I'm always present mm, yeah. we move, wake up together move together give instructions together even from when my son was really young and for me it's always helped me and when I decide to let my son go mm. it's not about my son going for a sleepover at his friend's house mm. he only goes to whose parents are my friends. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. where it starts from. Yeah, yeah. It's never that, oh, I have me, my friend Kyle. Will, can we do a sleepover? Then mm. they trap you when you've gone to pick the child. That, mm. Mommy, mommy, this is mommy Kyle. Can I yeah. go there? <laughs> I, of course, you're living and you've said, okay, we'll talk about we'll it. About but it. if I don't know your values, if I don't know yes. Your, 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 your process, in your yes. culture, what yes. you are believing, because I have a rule. Mm. If my child goes somebody, they, somewhere, that's his home. Don't call yes. me for anything. Mm. Yeah. So he's, that's his home. If yeah. you're disciplining, discipline. Yeah. If, you're, if they are eating what they eat, they, I don't have those phone calls at it now. Here, yeah, we don't do this. Like, what does he like? No, 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 no. <laughs> he's not allergic to anything. Yeah. So yeah. go. Yeah. So I need to know the environment of the household. Yeah. Yeah. So I, we need to be friends with the parents. And yeah. So that you can also come to me and tell me, yeah. you know what? So that you're open, there's open yes. communication. Yes. And even I, I, have to, I can tell you that. Eh, but also you think it mm. behaved yeah. like yeah. this and yeah. it wasn't. So and no they, so I do sleepovers always done from when my son was young, but um, um, it, uh, it's, it's bounded, yeah. you know, it's bounded by certain yeah. rules and it yeah. works for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually, I think I'm going to take on your approach of doing more sleepovers first at home, I guess to introduce the concept because first of all, Micah is an only child, so he's, we spend a lot of time with him. Yeah. So even his comfort level of going out to people's homes, he doesn't ask. No, no, no. The only sleepover he will do, and he, he actually started recently, uh, is at my mom's place. But also that's because... It's not a sleepover. It's not really a sleepover. You start somewhere. You start somewhere, yeah. yeah. So I guess introducing the concept. But I like what you've said about having sleepovers at home. I guess normalizing yeah. the idea of sleepovers so that he knows, oh, these are your friends and you can also go out with these people yes. I know their values yes. I mean I can discipline you can discipline my yes. child yeah. that sort of relationship I think is very very important yeah. to deal with this stuff that we are seeing today yes. you know and That's sort of so put true. our caution in place yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I'm also open to sleepovers like Pumla. I don't, I don't think I'm, you know, been really, really deep into it the mm. way you are. But I've had uh, two kids come for sleepovers. Mm. So my kids were very fascinated. They thought if these guys can come mm. here, yeah, why, can we, we can go. why can't we also <laughs> go? Yeah. So they're at the age where they actually really demand yeah. for sleepovers. Mm. Um, they, I've, had, I've had people come through and it's been interesting. Mm. They love it when they come. Mm. But on me letting them go, mm. ha, ha. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have tried. Mm. Uh, but it's just been my next door neighbor. That's where they did a sleepover. <laughs> That's where they did a sleepover. It's like mine or my yeah, mama. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like That's where I did a sleepover. Mm. But of course, you know, it was interesting. They'll shower, go and just and sleep over. Yeah, yeah that's, that's <laughs> the most I've me. done. <laughs> but yeah, you're so right about the values. It mm. needs to be someone you're comfortable with. Because mm. I know my next door neighbor, you know, we are comfortable. It's mm. not anything, you know, ugly that she does. Or I don't think anything bad will happen to mm. them. My fear of being so far away, I guess I just need to start, mm. is yes. Okay, I've not had 
a friend or you know someone that i really trust asking or mm. them you know mm. we've not had that arrangement maybe i'll start mm. <laughs> but yeah that has been my situation mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. interesting mm -hmm. so i'm pumla i told you like you're my sister <laughs> from another mother like <laughs> for real sure we were on different, different. <laughs> exactly. i don't have a maid remember yeah. so i li i i i'm happy to get rest when i can mm. and so when we have like big events and our lives are busy so yes there are times when for weekends on end we shall be away yeah. uh, mumcation vacation yes. will be away and we'll need someone to take yeah. care of the babies mm -hmm. yes they do go to the my mom's place mm -hmm. nah, 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 but they do like when we are telling when, when we tell them we're going away they're like can we go to this one's house mm -hmm. can we go to this one's house now i'm so lucky that i work in a child care center yeah. so i meet so many parents and i discuss with so many parents yeah. and it's so funny that the person that i i trust i trust with my children is not even like necessarily my friend which is, mm. I also find it quite okay. interesting. Mm. Uh, because one time when the kids were really insistent on them sleeping over and whatever, so I, I, uh, I, you know, we talked about it. And then she said, no, I'm not comfortable with them coming because I have just taken on my um, two children oh. who are not originally mine. Mm. So I have not had the time to raise them. Yeah. So give me time mm. to see what's going on in their lives. Mm. And then when they are good to go, yes. I'll give you a buzz. Mm. Do you know 100%? Yes. She, okay. she got like 100% yes. yes. from me. She was just like, me. hold on, mm. these ones I, I'm not yet sure. Mm. And then we also did have a, like, a proper discussion on, okay, so what's your belief system on this? Oh, Why wow, do you do nice. this? Okay, so yeah. when they do this, what are your thoughts? Mm. So what yes. schedules do you use exactly. way before? Yeah. That kids started to have sleepovers. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So where is this? How are you doing this? How are you managing this? And uh, when we finished jazzing that whole, mm -hmm. then we took them on. Another person who I've had the children have had a sleepover with is a person whose children I like. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So when you see the kids, you're like, that's yeah. a good kid. Mm -hmm. yes. Their parents must <laughs> their parents be good. Must be yeah, good. good. Their it's parents nice. must be good. Like yeah. I might not know the parent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this that I'm I seeing, see. somebody yeah. is investing yeah. in this. And so usually for that, for that parent, when I did allow the kids to go, I said, please give me some feedback. Tell me what's going on. Yeah. Because we were not necessarily friends. Mm -hmm. But when the kids asked, mm -hmm. I, uh, you guys, I saw those kids. They were polite. Mm -hmm. They were humble. Mm -hmm. They were praying. They, and you know me. The, the values, I could yeah. see the values in the children. children. I knew the parents were yeah. good to go. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, the others are my friends yeah. who are like, ah, this is yeah. my, this yeah. is my yeah. bad day. Mm -hmm. Then in terms of me hosting mm -hmm. um, sleepovers, I usually get when my friends are just like, man, eh, this child, assist me. Hey. I'm like, hey, hey what yeah, problems are you having? Okay. Uh, not liking to eat. Okay. Bring, bring that one. <laughs> this one doesn't want to listen. <laughs> okay. Bring, bring Ko. This one. Yeah, so I feel like that's where I swear. Are you host? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the angle, the, hang, yeah. the angle yeah. within which I, nice <laughs> I, I, yeah, I was. So that has been my, yeah, I've had a good experience so far. But I never do with people who have maids, actually. Oh, Yeah, by principle. Mm. Like, I'm just like, do you have a maid? Mm. For you, where do you be? Yes. If they're going to be with a child, mm. so like you, yeah. if they're going to be with a child, in a day, mm. but you're leaving for a few minutes, with, I'm like, call me. For those few minutes, I'll get who to yeah. be with the kids. With the kids. But please don't yeah. leave the kids just with a maid. Mm. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> um, I think times have changed so much from when I was raising my babies. Yeah. Uh, because in, in our days, and maybe it would work now, is sleepovers were generally with relatives. Yeah. 
Yeah. It was what not like, say? yeah, like yeah. N totally new friends and with your relatives. Like I send my kids to my sister's house. I come back, they are crying. I don't even bother asking who got punished or who was punished. Because I know that whatever has happened was okay. done yeah. out of love. But as the years have gone by, I've realized that um, visiting people who are not necessarily your friends, as you said, they get you at school. They're like, you know, let's go do this. And, and you jump onto the bandwagon. Yes, there are some good habits that come out of it, but generally you'll find, like Asante saying, my driver didn't come to pick me up, and I'm thinking, Madame. you are who? <laughs> <laughs> my driver was late, and I'm like, Asante, wicked wife. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, <laughs> you know. So definitely times have changed quite a lot from when we were, were doing the sleepovers. Yeah. Um, now I don't have, I'm the type of person, yes, I always have maids, who doesn't? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also the type of person, at the moment, even if Asante wanted to have friends over, I don't have that kind of time. Because I don't think it's fair for you to invite people into your home and you are not physically there. Yeah. Of course, even those days when I was physically there, woman of leisure, <laughs> my job was to have babies and travel. Yeah. I would still be in my room yeah. and I kind of know what is happening. But leaving your children with somebody and, I mean, going out to buy milk or whatever, that's yeah. understandable. But leaving them for many hours just doesn't make sense at all yeah. so yeah so would i have my children go for sleepovers they are too old <laughs> <laughs> if if what time i wouldn't know because they wouldn't discuss such things would with you, me what they would just go or no um like, like for example yeah. when i say come i give you gossip they're like mom it's called tea. the tea yeah. So if oh, right. exactly, yeah. now I so know. Asante is like, Mama, I've got tea for you. So if I say right. go for what do I they call sleepovers. sleepovers now? I don't know. I think they hang out more. I feel like kids your age now just go out and have a good yeah. time. Yeah. If they, they are going, maybe spending the night, it would be like spending the night. They yeah, spend yeah, night. I'm going to spend the night. They do house. Oh, I think I I would uh, when they were younger. Yes, but now um. how? Oh, spending the night where you yeah. come home if anything with the boys i was more free with this whole sleepover thing but when i got to asante you people girls are so yeah, precious yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's true. True. yeah. especially yeah. after three Ooh. boys yeah but <laughs> now you're going to sleep where okay. you go the I boys will tell back. me mama we are coming this mm. time and you come back yes, home yes. yeah it's interesting actually yeah. that you mentioned that i was just reflecting on what it was like for me growing up rarely you guys we do sleepovers but yeah. they were very who is this friend yeah. have they ever Sabbath. been to your place yes. Yes. to our place yes. do we know their parents exactly. those questions that our parents yes. used to ask us so it's interesting that now you you know you look at your kids and like where are you going at your age let them yeah. sleep and come see them outside and then come you back come home, home. Yeah. i don't know yeah. if this is relevant but also i've noticed some parents not you, P. <laughs> Some parents, especially if they have one or two children, use their friends as entertainment. Like, for example, in my kids were having sleepovers. If you've never been for a sleepover at my house, I will not let my child come to your house either. Yes. No, there are those who always say, come visit, come visit. Then, of course, as parents, there are those who are afraid to let their children go out because you know how kids have bad manners, eh? <laughs> Our kids. Yes, children have she their boo things, <laughs> but you know the how. Only it, one who knows uh, yes, but you know how it feels when you're. Oh my gosh, we had a lovely weekend. You know, your son laid his bed mat. I'm like, ah, yeah. Yes. All the things I was so worried Sorry. about them going out yes. and doing right. So sometimes that's why parents aren't too happy yes. with sleepovers. But I like the fact that you the issue of sexes, different genders. Yeah. I'm a hundred percent sure. Honestly, if I had a daughter, so I'll give you an example. I have, I have, we have a net, a team of moms, of, mm. of parents yeah. who we have these sleepover things oh. with. So we all know our children, oh. okay. but now ever since I got a niece around, yeah. if she's going to be around, 
and somebody says, oh, what's going on? I don't let them come over. Yes. So I don't mix genders. Oh. Yeah. I don't know, I don't. Yeah. So in issues like how Manuela has a girl and a boy, yeah. I, would n I would not, I don't think I would send my daughter, honestly, I don't know because yeah. that's not yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. But I know, for a f I know when I'm hosting, mm -hmm. I don't host girls if their boy is going to be around unless they are related. That's ah, interesting. Yeah. End of discussion. That's interesting. Who is a good friend of Teja? That's Raya. Okay. Yeah, so now those, so Raya and Teja are, because there's also no maid, I think that's the only girl Ra Teja is with, yeah. and yeah, and, and also, and, also yeah. and this is a strange thing, mm -hmm. I've never, like, I've never, host, I don't really host Raya, it's her mom who does, and her mom uh, has her claws of an ego, mm -hmm. and that's why I don't mind in that, re for Raya in, in, in that, in particular, uh, because of her mother, uh, her mother is ten times, she's there, like a hawk, yeah. Every, you can't get past her, yeah, yeah. you yeah. cannot get yeah. past her. So it's interesting <laughs> that you talk about the sexes, so. I can't allow either Blake or Bianca to go alone mm. for yeah, a sleepover. They, go together. Mm. they have to go together. Even if it's Bianca's yeah. friend or it's Blake's friend, yeah. Yeah. they yeah. have to go together. together. Yeah. And then when they go, I tell them, watch. watch Do you see your other. eyes? Mm. Now you're going to be mummy mm. for Blake. And I'm Blake, you're going, going to be mummy for Bianca. Bianca. Okay? Yeah. Make sure you watch out for her. I don't want you to watch out yeah. to report mm. what she has done. Yeah, but I want you to watch and see. Nobody touches her. Mm -hmm. Nobody shouts at Nobody, nobody, yeah. nobody, nobody, nobody. And then they're like, That's a you know, so, yeah. so they just, I they, see where the, you see where the like, thing is, yes, in. yeah. And then the problem, the older they grow, then they don't want to yeah. go yeah. with yeah. each other. Yeah. 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 Trust me, when they get, Teja will never want to move with a, a younger sister. Mm. Well, yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> but the, no, these are now my people. Yeah. They'll reach yeah. an age where, and you know, you'd also don't want, now, then Bianca will move and Black's friends start vibing. Yeah. Uh, Ah, Mama, no, what, yeah. what's this? Yeah. That's yes, not, you yeah. know, it's that interesting. Different stages require different, different methods. For yeah, sure. I agree. I for agree. Sure. No, but I don't think when she's a teenager, she'll be going anywhere. Of course. Yeah. She'll be having so suffer. many people <laughs> come over. We'll have people come over, <laughs> but her going. Uh, um, no, please. First of all, I'll start asking things like, do you have a get man? Uh -huh. Casta, you say yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'll be busy that weekend. <laughs> Sorry, she can't come. She can't come. She has an exam. Mm. Yeah, so I'm really, I think also because of the experience that I went through in mm. my own home. Oh. So imagine them going to another to home. Another so home. it's, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. don't, yeah. Uh, oh, well, guys, interesting, interesting conversations <laughs> about sleepovers. Ladies, do share with us your sleepover experiences. Are your kids demanding? Are you letting them go? Until next time, with love from Dampla.